Welcome to the project demonstration of IoT Greenhouse Monitoring and Controlling System. So here we are going to monitor the uh, parameters on the greenhouse like uh, light intensity level with the help of this LDR sensor and next humidity and temperature from this DHT11 sensor and moisture content from this soil moisture sensor. So this data will be continuously monitored on this LCD screen 16 by 2 and also through IoT through ESP8266 Wi-Fi module in our application we can get the continuously uh, data along with sensors details and also data nothing but controlling purpose so as of now we came to know that we are monitoring the sensors data and coming to the controlling so whenever the light intensity is less then we threshold uh, then the threshold value which we all set inside the Arduino you know so then the automatically this bulb will get switched on with the help of this electromagnetic relay and coming to this motor whenever the moisture content is less than the threshold value then automatically we are going to on this uh, motor with the help of the same another extra electromagnetic relay and coming to the temperature if the temperature is above 50 degrees centigrade then we are going to on this fan with the help of this transistor board so right so coming to the monitoring LDR to the bulb controlling and moisture sensor monitoring and controlling the uh, this motor water pumping motor and temperature humidity from this sensor and controlling purpose we are using this DC fan here so coming to the interfacing connections we have interfaced the LDR sensor at A0 pin and moisture sensor at A1 pin and next uh, DST11 at pin number 10 and 11 pin and 12 pin for this relays and 13th pin for this motor and 0 and 1 to this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and pin number 2 to pin number 7 to the LCD display right so before on the gate let me explain the power flow so we are pro providing the 230 volts AC inputs to this regulated power supply board as it consists of four stages one is the uh, transformation to step down the 230 volts AC to 12 volts of AC and the next is a uh, uh, rectification to convert the AC to pulsating DC and next filter to remove the pulses to get the constant 5 volts DC power supply and next regulation to get the 5 volts power supply from the 12 volts pure DC as the operating voltage for input and output and operating microcontroller is a 5 volts so that's why we need to regulate that 12 volts DC from the filter to the 5 volts DC so we are providing that to this breadboard so on this breadboard we are distributing that particular 5 volts throughout the input and output to the Arduino you know also so let us see the demonstration before on the kit we need to do uh, insular steps in your phone so first of all change the hotspot name to project 5701 without any space without any capital letter and password should be 123456789 and AP band should be 2.4 gigahertz now on the hotspots and data so no of data on the hotspots and then after install a network analyzer application from the play store so the network analyzer application icon look like this right so this is the icon for the network analyzer application and next juice ssh so this is the juice ssh application from the play store so these three are uh, three are like hotspot setting and next network analyzer application and next juice ssh application should be installed from the play store just i'm showing from uh, starting onwards right so i have enabled hotspot now now switch on the power supply to the kit and place the sensor inside a water so when we place that inside a water there will be a extra light will get switched on so we can see that moisture level is high light intensity is also sufficient that's why light is off state and motor also off state you can see that through two led indications on the relay board got switched off and now you can see one device is connected in your phone right and now go to network analyzer application and go to options do land scan so there we get the ip address of our express so the second one first one is our mobile phone second one is the esp8266 copy that now go to ssh manage connections add new connection type telnet address paste the address which we got from that network analyzer application and port number 8080 three changes should be important telnet type address and port number 8080 
click on ok now click on the device so now we are getting the data to increase the font just using volume up button you can increase the font size so what level is high moisture level is high and next we will get the moisture percentage temperature in degree centigrade and humidity as a percentage so now when i am removing this right motor got switched on we can see that the motor is running now and we can see that moisture level is 0 percentage moisture level is low so when the moisture level is below 40 percent then automatically the motor got switched off so switched on above 40 percent the motor got switched off right the motor got switched off again so let me sh show you the LDR also So we can see the same data which is available on the mobile phone application through IOT, same displaying on the LCD screen also. So now the light intensity is low, that's why the bulb got switched off. So if I place any heat object near this or DSC double one sensor, then the temperature will be increases. We can observe the temperature increasing also. Right. So we can see the temperature increasing in degree centigrade. So when it crosses 50 degrees centigrade, then automatically we are going to on the fan. Right. Still so I pause the video, which till temperature increasing, we can see that the temperature is increasing now. 40 degrees centigrade. 49. So when the temperature crosses the 50 degrees centigrade, then automatically the fan will get switched on. So bit cautious while you are trying to increase the temperature near this humidity sensor. Right. Now the motor got switched on. And when it's again come down to normal, same alert message displayed on the LCD screen. And here also we can see the alert message on this one. So now the temperature decreases below 50 degrees centigrade. That's why your fan got switched up. Thank you.